I did a video a while back where I showed where I was coloring um, yellow irises, a painting called Yellow Irises at Arley Walled Garden. And um, so I'm gonna just do basically the same thing with this painting. I'm going to um, tint it basically over the grisaille, it, glazing it. I'm gonna I use my hands. This one's called Pink Orchids at Hampton Court Flower Show. I'm gonna use two really similar uh, colors. I'll show you right here. Okay, there's the colors right there. They're, I don't know if you can tell on video, but they're so similar. But this one just has a little bit more bite, right? And I'll show you the painting tubes. Um, it goes like this, let me see. Michael Harding Quinacridone Quina, Quina Rose is this one. And it's a little softer. And then Block X uh, Rose Lake is this one. And slightly, it's got a little bit more bite. So I'm gonna try both of those. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna use both of them. Uh, for the inner part, I'm gonna use the uh, Block X because maybe it's a little stronger. And then for the outer part, I'm gonna use the Michael Harding so that it's softer on the petals. Okay, so I need to oil it out first, right? Which basically just means I'm gonna rub some sand oil, which is boiled down linseed oil onto it. And um, I'm using Zestit, which is a really great brand from the UK that produces non-toxic um, like solvents and all kinds of products. Uh, I've put some of that into this little stand oil bottle from Windsor Newton, or maybe it's the Windsor Newton one, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna oil, oil up the canvas. So what I do is I just cut up a little canvas, a little sponge, and uh, then I can use this as like a to um, wipe on the, the oil, or you can use those little makeup things. They're like triangular uh, foam that's white, and you can use those because they're already like the perfect size. So I put a little bit of oil on it, not too little. I mean, you want some oil on it. Uh, paint. Let me see. So I'm gonna start with the. Lighter paint, or they're almost the same. Right. Yeah, see, the oil makes it spread better. Over here, the paint just like it, it, st it sticks better because there's no oil to, to um, move it around. And I can also take off if, if that if I thought that was too dark, this what I just did on this side, then I could uh, I could take some off. And I'm referencing a, a photograph that I used, um, and it is lighter on the photograph quite a bit, so I, I can take it up, tone it down a little bit, spread it out again, and you, and you can get the, the fine, the nuances of color and, or hue or whatever that you want to get. It's a bit too thick, but I'll spread it out and see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, see, that actually works. That works, uh, taking it back with the, see how much I've taken off, uh, taking it back with the rag or the paper towel. I'm gonna try using the big sponge to oil it out because that little sponge is too little. It's not covering enough, so I'm gonna see if this works.
Okay, so believe it or not, that is actually how many of the high Renaissance painters painted, and then into the into Mannerism and Baroque and on uh, until the 19th century, um, roughly. I mean, you could say that I'm not doing like as refined a job of it, maybe perhaps. But um, if you look at, for example, Titian's um, uh, clothing, the way that it falls down, it's actually very similar looking to this technique. I think he was probably using something similar. He used like the best pigments available to him because he's in Venice and that's where they were importing the pigments and the pigments were really expensive so that's why he made them really um, super saturated color uh, and that's what one of the reasons why Titian paintings, Titian's paintings are so beautiful is because he used so much uh, saturated deep uh, rich color and so what I think he would do is right now I'm going for a subtle pink but if you wanted a brilliant strong red or blue then he would uh, probably put multiple um, glaze similar to this and I, I even think he, he might have just wiped it down afterwards too like that uh, I think Da Vinci did too except Da Vinci was obviously extremely refined about everything so this is actually I think it's a really beautiful technique Okay, now I'm finished with the Quina Crydon Rose, Michael Harding, uh, and then I'm just going to switch over to uh, Block X Rose Lake to do the darker parts of the inner parts of the flowers like that. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I think it turned out really subtle and beautiful. The color definitely brings it to life. Mm -hmm. 